Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with NCAA 13, and we have got some more Teddy Crocker coming your way. You're probably going to see this twice as much as you normally do, because I do want to make sure that I finish up Teddy Crocker's career before we reach the release of NCAA 14. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I think it's a good thing too, not just because I get something finished, but also because I'm going to make sure that I get all ready for the game you know, I'm not rusty or anything like that. And really don't embarrass myself when the game first comes out. So, uh, yeah, if you guys like this series, you'll be excited to know that this is going to be on the channel twice as much as it is right now. All right, so we're going to start the game off here with a running play, of course, over to the right side, only picking up two yards right there. We're starting at a disadvantage, too. We're down 7 to nothing here. So I'm feeling some pressure already in this game to, you know, go ahead and just run the best that I can. And really carry the team on my shoulders here. So a great pickup for Teddy Crocker right here. I need some more explosive runs like this one just to be able to build my legacy score and also to be able to come out with victories in games like this. Because Georgia, we're A-plus on offense and in uh, overall uh, rating for our team. Ole Miss is B-plus. We're ranked 10th in the country. Ole Miss isn't even rated. So I better come away with the win. Teddy Crocker gets hurt right here, but I'm only out for a few plays back in here third and one the computer initially wanted to call a passing play but i was like nope just give it to teddy crocker i'm gonna pick up that yard and i do that plus a couple extra more here so a minute and 45 seconds left in quarter number one teddy crocker just finding that opening and that was a huge opening it's like you could drive a bus through that one but all right so i gotta make sure i take advantage of every single opening like that here in the offensive line especially with somebody who is quick like me because if i can get into the open field Man, it is all over. It's just a matter of getting there. That's that's really the hard part. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to switch sides right here. We're going to counter over to the right side, and this may have been a smart call. Yep, I'm going to make it into the end zone right here. So Teddy Crocker with a touchdown, able to tie up the game. Really, that was just a matter of bobbing and weaving, so that way my lead blocker would get that defender. And gosh, end of story after that one here. So Teddy Crocker getting it done with a big pickup right here. I'm hoping the rest of the game is exactly like this drive where I did have a few big runs. Of course, there were some that weren't that pretty, but still, at the end of the day, we got the touchdown. All right, so I'm just going to follow my route here, and then I'm going to cut upwards, try to see if I could get another receiver opened up by pulling away some defender. But we get the first down right there over to the right side, so I really didn't help out too much on that. But, hey, all that matters is the W in the end. All right, so another running play here for Teddy Crocker. That defender sheds his block. And, man, I am not able to go anywhere at all. Teddy Crocker just getting stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Still tied at seven right here. Four minutes and 20 seconds left in half number one. A flag on the play after I pick up nine yards right here. Somebody has to hold somebody else. And, of course, it's my fullback, so... No big surprise. All right, so we're going to go with a toss play over to the right side. Ooh, this could be pretty promising. Why did my wide receiver not block? If he would have gone ahead and, you know, put together a block right there, I probably would have been able to get a touchdown. I'm confident I would have been able to get a touchdown. But anyway, we're facing third and four. That blitz is really effective by Ole Miss. So I'm not going to be able to go anywhere. Fourth and nine. So the computer goes for it. And then a couple plays later, I'm back into it here. So second and five, and another flag here. What's this one going to be? Uh, it was offsides, actually. All right, so Teddy Crocker's got to run the ball yet again right here. And just some bad blocking or great blitzing. Maybe a combination of the both. Yeah, it's a combination of the both right there. So I'm going to get hurt after that one, and that's going to be a more significant injury. Obviously, with the amount of time that I got left in this video, I'm not out or anything like that, but here we are. Third quarter, four minutes, 49 seconds left here. Teddy Crocker receiving the handoff. Gosh, stop freezing, Xbox. I just run into my own uh, offensive lineman right here. Only able to pick up one yard. So I guess something is better than nothing, but still not where I want it to be. We are down 21 to 10. Now, while I was injured, the quarterback for Georgia actually threw two interceptions. One came back for a touchdown, so it was a pick six. And the other one, they had a really good field position. So I'm thinking if Teddy Crocker hadn't been in the game, we wouldn't be down right now. Probably would still have just seven points here, but I don't know. I really can't say that, you know, for sure. 
that that's where the game would be, but you kind of have to wonder at something like that. So Teddy Crocker running forward here on first and 10, able to pick up five yards. So a little bit more consistent here with what I'm normally doing. All right, so another handoff right here. Ooh, able to get around everybody. I've got the first down and about seven yards more. All right, we're still in this. I know we can come back right now. I mean, we're down 11 points. I just got to get a touchdown right here and then get another touchdown after that while my defense stops Old Miss. And I'm in the lead again. So we could do this. Just make sure you keep handing it off here to Teddy Crocker. Ooh. Dang it. All right. Picked up two yards right there. That was a lot of work for, act for two yards, but... All right, Teddy Crocker now over to the right side. Another toss play. Worked very, very well earlier. That one almost did, too. Kind of wondering if I had just ran at him instead of trying to evade the tackle if, if I would have been in good shape. But, again, you really can't focus on what's happened in the past here. So, that's another one that could have been a lot better. Third and six for Georgia. Teddy Crocker's really getting slowed down here by Ole Miss, and this is not pretty. So, I'm just going to go on a streaks play. Dang it. I probably should just always follow my route. You know, I mean, this is not like when I'm playing Dynasty mode or something like that, where if I go ahead and I mix things up, you know, the computer gets thrown off. But, gosh. Anyway, 30 seconds left here in quarter number three. There's the first down for Teddy Crocker picking up 10 yards. And again, injured. Again. I'm wondering if this is going to be like the bowl game that I had where I ended up getting, uh, getting injured like four times. That time he's grabbing his, his knee. So again, Teddy Crocker is going to have to come out and is not going to be able to help the team. The greatest player for Georgia is out. So 17-21. What a bad position to come back into the game here with. But I make the most of it. Just getting it to the 21. Oh! A little spin move actually got me to the 23. And that'll put me over the 100-yard mark here for this game as well. So we're kind of out of that jam here. Now we're going to go ahead with a long pass play. We're only down by four points. That one is going to get intercepted, so that's three interceptions in the game for my quarterback. Three. Now I feel kind of responsible for this one here because I did go ahead and I changed the play. They were just wanting me to do a run right up the middle. I didn't think that's too appropriate with the amount of time that was left. I mean, we wanted to see if we get a big pass. Quarterback just doesn't pull through for me right here. All right. Minute and 12 seconds left. Again, I'm just going right downfield. This one going up. Gosh, intercepted. Teddy Crocker with the tackle. And that is going to be it for this game. I mean, this game is done and over with. Georgia is going to end up being upset in the worst possible way here against Ole Miss. Okay, maybe not the worst possible way. I mean, I could have had a, you know, a, a Division II school or something like that beat me. But anyway... Less than 20 seconds left. That one is going to get caught. Teddy Crocker is going to have his number called right here with 10 seconds left. The clock is running. You go with a passing play. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just try to see if I can go out of bounds with it here. See if maybe we could go for just one long pass right here. Second and three. Hail Mary has been called. I'm asked to go to the right side. And in the end zone, it's going to get swatted away. So that is going to be the end of the game. And Georgia ends up losing this one 17-28 to against Ole Miss. So we're going to drop down actually from the 10th ranked team to the 21st ranked team. That's a big drop for Georgia. But hey, if this is the way we're playing, maybe we deserve it. So hopefully you guys are excited about seeing this twice as much as you normally do. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and on Twitter and all that great jazz. All you got to do is just check that description below. But thanks again, you guys, for watching. I definitely do appreciate it. And as always, you guys, I hope you have a good one.